Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Monster Cano over here, chilling, aka Bossman Vlog. If you're um, new to this channel, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. You know, we're going to be talking all day about this fight coming up Danny Garcia versus Earl Spencer, the truth. So, let me light this up real fast. We're going to recap on tonight's fight, y'all. So, y'all, new to the channel, hit the, hit the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, let's, let's talk shit. So, I'm going to tell you like this, I'm going for Danny Garcia. I really don't think Earl Spencer has fought anybody that's worth bragging over. You know what I mean? Yeah, he is the truth, but who has he ever fought, you know? People like uh, Keith Thurman and Pacquiao. You know, yeah, he fought Sean Porter, but he barely won that fight against Sean Porter. That was a squeeze. You know what I mean? That was a really squeeze fight. So, I don't think Earl Spencer can uh, really hold up the counter punch in that Danny Garcia is going to bring to him. Because Earl Spencer likes to get in there and he likes to fight. He likes to uh, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe like that, but... He's never went up against anybody who had any real power, you know. Um, Sean Porter don't really have any real power. He just brings a lot of uh, <coughs> ferocious uh, aggression to the fight, and he likes to um, just pressure you the whole time. Usually that wins it for him. He just outworks his opponents. But as far as um, um, having any type of power, I don't think Sean Porter had any type of power, you know, strong enough for anything. So... Danny Garcia is a little different now. His hook is just like, ferocious, man. He has a mean hook. He has a mean overhand right counter punch. He throws that uppercut mean. Earl Spencer, you know, really don't have much defense. He has a little shoulder roll, the the Philly D, but I don't think it's going to be enough to withhold the, the hits that he's going to take. And then just coming off of surgery, you know, after the car accident, it's kind of uh, skiffy that he's going to be able to take these hits to the face, man. Because I don't care what anybody says. You're not the same person that you are before you got in that car accident. So you might look like you are. You might feel like you are. But when it comes to taking that hit in the face, you're not going to be the same fucking person. Look at Cal Brooks. He was a bigger fighter. He's Terrence Crawford. He he was controlling the fight the first half, the whole half of the fight against Terrence Crawford. Then all of a sudden, he took that one clean punch to the face. And if... His face just couldn't take it, you know, after having the surgeries on both eyes. It just kind of rattled his face, you know, and it was just a jab. So that's going to tell you kind of like what Earl Spence is going to kind of do tonight, you know. Like, yeah, he feels good. He looks good. Don't get me wrong, but is the Skeletor still good? Can the brain still hold the shock hit that he's going to be getting tonight? So, and I don't think it will. I, I mean, I think eventually he'll get hit. He's going to get hurt. And it's going to be it for him because the surgery is just too much. It's too soon. His face really hasn't had a full chance to heal all the tissues. He's just coming back, you know, prematurely. He should have just kind of took it a little longer. Maybe gave up the bouts. You understand what I'm saying? And then worked a little harder then came back and just won the bouts back because... Why come back and try to prove something that you don't have to prove against somebody like Danny Garcia, who's going to, you know, straight it, on paper, he's going to out-counter punch you. Yeah, he might be an under guy, underdog in this card, but on paper, he's not really an underdog. Look, he's fought a lot of fighters. He's He went up against a lot of good people. You know what I mean? He's fought Sean Porter, Keith One-Time Thurman. Um, he's fought people like... Uh, what Bam Bam? What's that dude? Bam Bam, um, the Mexican fighter. You know he's 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 fought uh, all of them. So he's fought some mean fighters. He's also fought a fighter growing up um, from Salt Lake City named the KO Kid. It was a pretty good fight. It turned around to be like an eight round knockout. Danny Garcia won it. That was a good nice fight. So he's been in there with a lot of people. Now, I haven't really seen Earl Spencer. He's been ducking a lot of people like Terrence Crawford wants to get at him. You know, Pacquiao's been calling him out. Keith one time Thurman's calling him out. And he's he's pretty much just kind of ducking the big leagues. He's 
it's kind of like Mayweather in a way, you know, he gets to pick and choose who he wants to fight because he knows he's going to win 95, 99.9% of the time. Mayweather don't pick a fight that he thinks he's going to lose because champions don't pick fights if they know they're going to lose the fight. So Mayweather already said that himself in a few of his videos that why should I go and pick a deadly opponent when I get to pick and choose who I'm going to fight? You know, I'm the champion. They have to come and dis, dis, arm, discharge me of my title. So, <clears throat> but that's what it's going to be like with the Earl Spencer tonight. Yeah, he's the champion, this, that, and this, but who has he fought? That's a real name. So, if you're all new to the channel, leave a comment. Let's talk shit. Let's talk shit on this fight tonight. Like I said, I think Danny Garcia is going to be too much for him as far as counterpunching comes. Earl Spencer will have a chance if he can stay away, but I don't know. He has to be hit. You got to take. You got to take a hit to give a hit, and I don't think he's gonna be able to take the hit. You know what I mean? I think one clean hit to the face. It's gonna. He's gonna feel it in the surgery. He's gonna. It's gonna rock him, and he's gonna uh, lose his title. And it's gonna be an upset tonight. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. We had a lot of uh, fights that just came out just the other day. We had Larry Gomez from Salt Lake City fight out there in, I think it was, Cal uh, Hollywood, California or something like that. And he lost his title to a 10-round fight against a kid from New York, an upcoming champion. You know, hats off to both of them. They both fought a good fight. They both, uh, I think if uh, Garrett, Larry, Larry Gomez was in a little bit more of better shape and he had a better camp, he would have won that fight easily because he had more power. He was more aggressive on the fight. He could have easily won that fight. But the fact that he, you know, really doesn't have a good camp. You know, being from Utah, there's not a lot of good sparring partners down here. There's not a lot of good opponents. Nobody's really up to par with him. So he can just do whatever he wants. He saw a lot of the fighters here from Utah. So if he uh, kind of decides to maybe take a move change, maybe maybe out to Vegas or move out to California and start fighting some of the real fighters, training with some of the real fighters, you know, um, joining some of the bigger camps, maybe he has a chance of being somebody great because he does have a good record. But right now he's already lost a few fights back to back, and it's proven that he can't go the distance. He doesn't have the sh he's not in shape enough to go the distance like that with these boxers who are faster and who can take his hit because he hits pretty hard but you can't knock everybody out so once one person breaks his flaw like the last fighter um before this one when he beat him he kind of proven you know all you got to do is be able to withstand his power and you can just outbox him and beat him at the end of the night just outscore him so then the second fighter from just last wednesday just done the same thing proving that all you got to do is outbox him and just hold that power because he doesn't really have the defense, you know what I mean, or, or the stamina to to fight these champion fighters. So hats off to him, though. He got some balls to get up in there, and that's a lot of respect. Much love to your guys' camp. But the fight with people like Danny Garcia because and people like or who are the great fighters, you got to, like, change your lifestyle and go a little different. So... Hats off to your camp, though. Um, but anyways, we're going to light this blunt back up because it went out. We're going to recap back on the Danny Garcia fight tonight and the Keith, I mean, the uh, Earl Spencer. So <clears throat> what do you all think about this fight that's going to come on tonight? Now, I'm telling you all, I'm telling you like this, Earl Spencer is going to throw some punches. He's going to box. He's an Olympic champion. But once he takes that counter punch and it's clean and it comes with a lot of power like Danny Garcia can do, you see Keith Thurman's face after his fight with Danny Garcia and the big lump on his head. Danny obviously can punch. So, I mean, we're going to see tonight, y'all. Now, tonight's going to be worth the money. So it's going to be worth the pay-per-view event. It ain't going to be like that bullshit from my last video with the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. bullshit. This shit's going to be real. So y'all watch this video and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's bullshit, y'all. Let's bullshit and don't be uh, some smooths. Some smooths. 
Don't be some smooths. No, I'm just playing. I love y'all, YouTube, and um, we're going to get back at this uh, weigh-ins and overlook a couple of things and see what we can find here because right now I think uh, Danny Garcia is looking a little stronger. He looks thicker. Um, he looks ready. He looks hungry. He looks focused. Earl Spencer kind of looks like he's he's focused, but he looks like he's got something in the back of his mind that he's worried about. Maybe it's the car accident. Maybe he th doesn't know. Like We all think he looks good, but if you really look at him, you can tell that there's something bothering him. And in the back of his mind, maybe he himself might be thinking, okay, what do I got? What happens if I take a good hit? So, yeah. So, we'll see, man. But you never know what can happen because this is boxing. And just like with the Mayweather and McGregor fight, when McGregor went in the, the whole fight, then all of a sudden Mayweather just pours it on and he gets tired. And that's that. So, you never know. Maybe. Danny Garcia thinks he got him, and Earl just pops him with that hook, and, and that's all she wrote for Danny Garcia. So we'll see. But hit that subscribe button, people. Don't be haters. And uh, I love y'all. Y'all have a safe, blessed day. And I um, hope everybody's wearing their masks. Keep your hand sanitizer. Smoke the weed because it helps with your lungs, especially if you're having a hard time breathing. This will make you breathe. It's been proven fact in the labs to help with every fucking thing wrong with the person. So hit that subscribe button. Let's smoke together, talk together, and let's talk about f boxing and fights. And if you got any ideas that you want me to do with my dog, Zeus, let me know. You know, I've been doing the little raw feeding on him, and he's starting to look really good. The bumps are gone, so it's, I now I know it's an allergic reaction to spring, so come around next year. Hopefully the bumps don't return, but if it does, then I know it's something that he has in his fur from springtime, and then once winter comes, it goes away. So that's a bonus, y'all. So now I can take him back to feeding him whatever I want, put him back on the dog food I had him on, get him back going with his raw feed in because there at a time I was picking and choosing and trying to find what was wrong with him. But now that it's winter time in November and December, <clears throat> all his bumps are completely gone. So hats off to my dog and hats off to the, to the kennel channel. It's doing good. We're getting views. We're just, we're, we're popping, you know, we're, we're growing some chronic. We was growing some chronic anyways out in Oklahoma, but we just traveled back down to Salt Lake, so ain't shit going on out here. The medical dispensaries don't even allow you to grow weed with your medical cards, so what's the fucking point, you know? Wait till next year when Biden becomes president and he fucking uh, legalizes the multi everywhere, and then we're all smoking and growing and living happily, and you know what I mean? So peace out, YouTube family. Like I said, blunt up, y'all. Have a safe day. Peace.